Romney has been especially optimistic about the life sciences sector. The Boston area has one of the largest concentrations of biotech companies in the world and has attracted some big biotech names. Mainstays of the local industry are also showing their commitment to the region. Genzyme recently opened a brand new corporate headquarters in Cambridge. And you see in business reporter Mont Fennell takes a tour. The first thing you notice about Genzyme's new headquarters are all the windows, 800 of them, providing direct views outdoors from nearly every desk. Walk inside and you're struck by all the gardens, 18 in all, the serene reflecting pools, and a 12-story central atrium. This is a fun building. It's part Disney World, it's part, uh, you know, the future. Everywhere there is natural light. It's enhanced by heliostats on the roof, which track the sun as it moves, directing the light down into the atrium where 1,100 reflecting prisms scatter it deep into the building. You want to make it an attractive place for people to come to work. The open design encourages people to get out of their offices, to hang out at the lounge areas or one of nine gourmet coffee stations. That encourages interaction and collaboration. We don't have to leave voicemails or emails. We can actually do it real time, face to face. The building is also environmentally friendly. More than half was made with recycled materials. Nearly all the wood comes from well-managed forests. It was built on a once contaminated lot. As 128 and 495 are becoming more and more paved over, why destroy landscape that is at right now still trees. The $140 million structure was expensive. Being environmentally responsible added $23 million or 16% to the price tag, but energy efficiency reduces operating costs. All the light cuts electric consumption 32%. Genzyme uses waste steam from a nearby power plant to heat and cool the building. One third the structure has two sets of windows, creating a perimeter walkway that insulates, helping to heat in the winter and cool in the summer. And buried in the dirt in the exterior landscaping are moisture sensors, which reduce unnecessary watering from sprinklers. That and systems like waterless urinals cut water bills almost 40 percent. Over the course of time, we expect to get a return on that investment. At first, Dave Johnston was skeptical because having so much open space means smaller offices. Now he loves the spirit he feels. Being able to look out and see people working multiple floors down, walking around, it really provides a sense of activity and buzz. In fact, Genzyme execs predict the facility will inspire creativity, allow workers to be more productive, reduce absenteeism, and make it easier to attract and retain employees. It's a very competitive environment, and so you'll, you need every advantage you can get. And with this futuristic facility, even George Jetson would feel right at home. In Cambridge, Massachusetts, Mont Fennell, NECN.